Hello. I am Remy. I use they, them pronouns. And I mainly focus on wellness, fitness, that kind of aspect of a lifestyle. So, today's video, I'm combining something I love with something else I love. And I am giving the app Pokemon Sleep a, a try. Um, I originally heard from this from another autistic uh, Instagram page that I follow. It's an art page. And they were like, oh, I'm downloading Pokemon Sleep. And I was like, what's Pokemon Sleep? Tell me more. And basically, it's an app that tracks your sleep. And it um, attracts Pokemon through a Snorlax that your sleep helps attract the other Pokemon and it's the whole thing is supposed to be like studying the sleep cycles of Pokemon while also you sleep. It will make more sense if you see the uh, the next few clips of me actually doing the game. So um yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, without further ado, Pokemon Sleep! Hey, voice of Remy. So I had some additional downloads that needed done on the app before it would let me start, but then I was able to pick my username and move on with the game. And you will see this loading screen a lot, unless I edit it out, because um, it came up a lot. So. Professor Neroli says, oh, welcome to the world of Pokemon Sleep. I'm Neroli. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm here to research the sleeping habits of Pokemon. Just lots of nexts. You see, many creatures that we call Pokemon live here. And they're very mysterious. Ooh, spooky. I've been working to record them while they're asleep, to deliver, to delve into their sleeping habits. I can read. These islands are also home to many Snorlax, and my research has convinced me of, an, of one thing. What's that one thing you might ask? The Snorlaxes somehow excrete a mysterious power to put Pokemon around them to sleep. So I developed a device called the Sleep Synchronizer to amplify this snoozy power of the Snorlax. I've been putting in some real effort so we can sync your sleep with that of a Snorlax and cause more Pokemon to gather around. I'd like you to come use this device whenever you're asleep so that we can study the sleep styles of the Pokemon that gather here. Of course, you'll need helper to assist you. For your first research partner, I'll entrust you with a friendly Pikachu. Try to get some sleep with your new Pikachu. That'll be the first step in our research. Let's get straight to readying everything. We need for your first day. <laughs> so then I got me a Pikachu. He is a boy Pikachu. And he's bashful. So naturally, I had to name him after our Lord and Savior, the true voice of Pikachu, Ryan Reynolds. But unfortunately, 
Ryan Reynolds was too long of a name, so the Pikachu just ends up being named Ryan. Okay, first night with a new mattress. I wanted to do something to, like, memorate that, so I downloaded the uh, Pokemon Sleep, and I'm going to try that. I have it set for my bedtime to be 11.30, so when that comes around, I'm going to turn it on, start my sleep, and then go to sleep. Next morning, I get up and have this at a pace of store X. Drowsy Power has drawn a small group of Pokemon. Um, I had a Jigglypuff, which I was super excited about because Jigglypuffs are like my favorite. Um, and you're able to swipe around um, Jigglypuff, add a Charmander layer, and then it gives you information. So it was the crackling seat that I found the Charmander in. So then you just add it, you get different pictures. You, there's apparently different types of sleep that each Pokemon have, and you're supposed to collect them all. Then I got something like a rat tat, and then I got the slow poke, which something I thought was funny about the slow poke was that it said that it's hard for researchers to even tell if the slowpoke is sleeping or just sitting, but I just thought that was really cute. In true Pokemon style, the whole premise of this game is to just collect your po Pokemon. And so uh, the professor's back saying, good work on the sleep research. Now I'd say it's snack time for the Pokemon. So it had me giving a snack to only Charmander, which I thought was kind of not fair because I had four other Pikachus, not Pikachus, four other Pokemons. And I just didn't think that was very fair, but Charmander got some friendship points. Another big part of the game is feeding the Snorlaxes. So you can feed the Snorlax berries but then there's also the opportunity during lunch hours, breakfast hours, dinner hours, where you can feed it an actual meal. So for instance, this Snorlax that I had specifically said that it liked uh, stews and curries. So basically, I just fed it like an apple curry dish like for every meal. And if that isn't like true autism representation, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Okay, so, um, it is a lot more involved than just, um, marking when you go to sleep. You have to actually take care of Pokemon throughout the day. You have to take care of your Snorlax and take care of the, like, Pokemon friends that come and, like, help you with stuff. So, they did give it a lot more gameplay, I guess, so that's good. And I can see how it would be very, very appealing to, like, young children. Like, and I can see also how parents could use it, like, okay, we're going to work when you go to sleep. We're going to put it here, and you need to sleep so that the Pokemon sleep, and maybe that can, like, persuade kids, because sometimes kids don't want to go to sleep. Um, it is the next day. And I think, think for a minute, we need to talk about how very much impractical this app is. Um, I shouldn't have to keep my phone turned on all night. Like, obviously it's on the charger, but also apparently you're not supposed to, like, charge your phone all night, which, I mean, we all do, but apparently you're not supposed to. But, um, also it's not just sleep. Like, you have to go on multiple times a day and take care of the Snorlax, 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 and take care of the Pokemon that have come to help. And then you have to go through all this stuff in the morning to, like, study the thing, the Pokemon. And, look, I love Pokemon. I would happily study Pokemon, like, if I was a biologist, or zoologist, 
and Pokemon were real. But the game is just kind of boring. And like I said before, I can see how this would be very appealing to children. And children are probably the main demographic that this game is geared towards. So if you're a child and you like this game, don't take this offensively. Um, if you're an adult and you like this game, don't take it offensively. Um, I just, the first night I was like, yeah, this is fun. Second night also... You have to have the app running the entire night. Last night, I woke up at 2.30 to a thunder clap, crash, whatever you want to call it. To thunder so loud, I thought the rapture had come. I wake up drenched in sweat, not going back to sleep anytime soon. I get my phone on to, you know, prevent myself from thinking... That I'm now the only remaining living person on earth and that everyone has been brought up to heaven or whatever and I was just left for dead. Um, yeah, so I got on Instagram. <laughs> where, where you go. And um, I had to stop the game. So I had to stop my sleep session. Before I could close the app. So I only got a sleep section that was only like two hours long last night. And then of course by the time it's like three o'clock. And I finally would go back to sleep. Because the thundering and lightning has stopped. By the time I can finally go to sleep. I don't think hey I should record a second sleep session. So all of that is just. I feel like. Also, I feel like there should be a way, and I know this is probably technology that would have to be, um, like, agreed upon within companies, but I do feel like there should be a way that your Fitbit sleep data transfers to the game or your, uh, smartwatch. Anything that tracks your sleep that you use, like, watch-wise, actually tracks your heart rate, should be used to you know register in the game because I have a feeling that this which actually records my heart rate is much more reliable for like sleep stages than just having your phone on your mattress just face down on your mattress and uh maybe I'll do a comparison of like one nights between my Fitbit and my sleep. I'll put this here to sh show the difference. I'll take screenshots and so this is Fitbit. This is that. Wow, it's probably different. If it's not, I'll come in and check that. I'm I'm gonna do that real fast. Yeah, there are there are some pretty big differences between like the different sleep cycles themselves. I will say, it is super cute. It has such cute animation. Such, I love Pokemon. So, I'm not mad at it. I just don't think, personally, I'm going to continue to use it. It's just not practical to keep your phone on um, all night. And really to remember to turn it on and turn it off the next morning. Well, turning it off is probably easier because it's going to be on when you turn your phone on. But if you have like mornings where you delay your phone time which i know a lot of people do then i feel like that's just going to make it more difficult but again just because this isn't didn't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you or your kid or if you're a kid which you shouldn't be watching my videos if you're a kid so uh yeah that has been my experience with a uh, Pokemon Sleep. If there is other apps you would like me to try, preferably free ones, I do not want to spend money on apps. Um, let me know. I will be happy to uh, do that. Preferably, like health, wellness, things in that area. Um, yeah. Um, 
Thanks for watching this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you got this far in the video. Um, why don't you post this emoji in the comments to uh, let me know that you reached this point. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.